this is my first time here at LSI. I'm very happy to be here, so thank you. Um, as, as he mentioned, I mean, we're focused on surgical oncology. We're focused on improving outcomes uh, in, in surgical cancer removal. And, and the need we're addressing is well known. I mean, in, in cancer surgery, incomplete resections, cancer left behind more than doubles the risk of recurrence. The Lumicell Direct Visualization System finds that cancer and guides removal of it. Uh, we have strong data in over 700 patients in breast cancer alone. A uh, little bit of an update to this slide. We have now uh, filed our NDA because we have an imaging agent and a device. We're, we're filing an NDA and a PMA. Uh, the NDA went out last Friday to the FDA. So we're on track uh, looking for approval by the end of the year, followed by a commercial launch in early next year. Um, and again, we're, we're focused on raising capital, raising equity to drive commercialization. So, so let me start with cancer surgery, okay? And, and our first indication is breast cancer. The, the entire care continuum in breast cancer treatment from imaging to pre-surgery is all about complete resection. Because as I mentioned before, incomplete resection has been shown to more than double the risk of recurrence. So, so when a patient is treated for breast cancer, this is kind of the patient journey here. So when, it, when a patient's treated with breast cancer, the objective is to remove the entire tumor and a small amount of healthy tissue surrounding the tumor to ensure nothing's left behind. Often, as you see in, in box number two, surgeons, in order to get a complete resection, will take unguided shaves. So they'll take additional tissue uh, based on intuition, based on touching the tissue that's been removed, looking at it, uh, but they'll take sh cavity shaves just to get a complete resection. And then seven to 10 days later, they'll come back, and as you see in this case here in box number three, they'll find out that, first of all, they had a positive margin, and in this case, there's tumor in the surgical cavity. But what's concerning is often there's an undetected skip lesion. There's additional tumor in the surgical cavity that's, that's completely missed. Because here are the facts around, and these are, these are the facts around breast cancer surgery alone. 20 to 40% of the time, the patient needs to have a second surgery because they have a positive margin. But when they do a second surgery, 65% of the time, they're not even finding tumor. So they're doing a second surgery and not getting additional cancer. Now, to me, what's even more concerning is that 19% of the time, there's tumor left behind. So clinical studies have demonstrated that 19% of the time, standard of care completely misses tumor because the standard of care has very well-known limitations. What we've developed at Lumicell is the first of its kind solution that allows the surgeon to see inside the breast cancer cavity at the time of the initial surgery. So we combine a uh, fluorescent imaging agent that is activated to the bot by the body's host immune response to cancer. So it's not a targeted molecule, it's an activated molecule, so it truly makes it pan-cancerous. We combine that with our own imaging device, and it's important to note, we developed this device in conjunction with breast cancer surgeons because there is no other device on the market that looks inside the breast cancer surgical cavity. And then the third part of the, uh, of the equation here is a patient calibrated tumor detection software that guides the surgeon specifically where to take, uh, to take additional tissue that's suspected of being cancerous. So the, the, the last point here on our solution that I wanna raise is that we designed this system to fit seamlessly into the surgical workflow. So the agent is systemically administered via a three minute IV push uh, to the patient two hours before surgery. So the patient's not required to come in early, uh, the day before or a couple or more hours than early to, to get the injection, the three minute IV push. And then during the initial procedure, so after the uh, surgeon has removed the primary tumor, it takes less than 10 minutes to scan the cavity, remove tissue, uh, remove residual cancer, and then scan again to ensure that it's, the patient is completely cancer free. So in this case, as I, as I go back to the patient here that we, uh, 
that I demonstrated before. In this case, by using the LumaCell solution as an adjunct to standard of care, not only are they avoiding, the, the patient avoids a second surgery. So we find that we detect the positive margin, we remove that tumor that's, uh, that's remaining in the cavity. The rest of the cavity is scanned to ensure that it's clean, but we're also, we're also picking up that missed tumor, so that, that skip lesion that otherwise would have been left behind. And this patient there, therefore, is able to go back uh, to, to complete their next level of treatment and get back to normality sooner than they would have otherwise. As I mentioned, uh, we are filing, because we have a drug and a device, we're filing a PMA and an NDA. Uh, we have been granted breakthrough designation on the device and fast track on the drug, um, on the drug side. So as I mentioned, the NDA has been submitted. The PMA is on track to be submitted uh, by the end of April. And we're focused on, on uh, uh, approval and commercialization uh, in, in, early, uh, in early 2024. So uh, before I get to the data, the clinical data, I want to point out uh, the strength of the study. So we have some of the largest academic centers, thought leaders in our clinical trial, uh, Mass General, uh, Stanford, uh, MD Anderson, and others. And then we also, because we wanted to have a complete, very robust trial, we also have some very large community cancer centers. Uh, we completed our pivotal study, 406 patients. Um, and that data will be presented by Dr. Barbara Smith from Mass General next month at the American Society of Breast Surgeons meeting. What I'm pointing out here is it, prior to our pivotal study, we completed a pre-pivotal 234 patient study and got great results. So it, it starts with negative predictive value. So by using the LumaCell solution, uh, our clinical data has demonstrated 98% probability that when LumaCell says the patient is cancer-free, they truly are cancer-free. The other thing I want to point out is that in that trial, we detected and guided removal in 11% of patients. So by the surgeons using the LumaCell solution, direct visualization system, identified cancer in 11% of patients that would have been missed in that initial surgery. More importantly, more than half of those patients had negative margins. So more than half of those patients would have been told that they were truly cancer-free, except that we found uh, by using the LumaCell solution, the, the surgeons were able to find residual cancer. In the pivotal study, we took this a step further and we, we gathered the characteristics of that tumor. And I will tell you, it's not microscopic tumor. This is material uh, grade two, grade three tumor. That's, that, that's missed in these surgeries. So, and again, that will be uh, presented next month at the American Society of Breast Surgeons meeting. You know, looking at, looking at the, the strength of the clinical data, uh, we are focused on getting reimbursement via TPT, the transitional pass-through payment, which, which fits really well into our drug device combination. We have a strong razor, razor blade model here, and we're focused on driving to 300 million in revenue by year five in, in breast cancer alone. But when we think about the broader market here, uh, all solid tumor cancers, we really see this as a $4 billion market opportunity. The ability to identify and remove residual cancer using fluorescent guided surgery is a large market. You know, breast cancer alone is a $1 billion market. That's one of the reasons why we started in breast cancer here. So, so we've got a lot of opportunity uh, after breast cancer. In, in which comes down to, um, you know, what's the long-term strategy, exit, uh, exit uh, partnership opportunities. And it goes back to the, to the care continuum. So if you look at the major players here, in, uh, in these are just in breast cancer itself. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's Hologic, it's, it's GE Medical, it's, uh, it's Mamatome, Danaher, uh, and others. So, so it's, a, it's, a, it's a very large universe here of potential partnering opportunities. So I'll just wrap up where I started. Um, you know, we're addressing a significant need in residual cancer being left behind. We have, uh, we demonstrated that we, that we identify and remove that tumor. 
the program is, is significantly de-risked. Uh, we've completed our pivotal study, have great data uh, on track to submit to the FDA. And, uh, and again, raising uh, to commercialize in breast cancer. So I'll be here the rest of the, the, rest of the day today. So if you'd like to learn more, like to follow up, uh, please let me know. Thank you.